Cavezilla. Cave looks good too. Not many ski, ski babies out today. I thought it'd be a lot of ski babies out. Stand by. No targets yet. Piece of aluminum foil laying on top. One piece of aluminum. Clad quarter, first coin. Three ounces of gray matter. I don't know what this is, but it's loud. 28, 23, 28. I got four scoops off of it now. I might have it now. It looks like junk to me. There it is right there. Damn. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Nope, that was it. A 30. I see it. I can't tell if it's silver or not, but it's a dime. Looks like silver to me. Okay. Well, I dug another fishing rate, then I dug another fishing rig, and I got the top of a paint tube now, I think, like the artists used to use. That looks like a Canadian oak leaf to me. It's got two cents on the other side. I thought it was a dime when I first saw it. By size, you know. I ain't never found anything like this. But I know it's Canadian because that's an oak leaf. 1950, 1966, I think it says. Pretty cool. Well, I got a pouch full of stuff. This is a 22. I mean, a high, high 22. I got sinkers. I got a top of a key. I got all sorts of crap. I don't see no 22 here, though. Got some glass. Stand by, maybe I'll find it later. Pretty solid 22. We got it too. First scoop up. El Junko. Yep. 
I got some of that today too. Wow, 28.30. Ah, or scoop. There it is. Another quarter. Second quarter of the day. Clad. Pretty solid five. That, there it is. The water must be warmer than I think it is. These kids are swimming in it, jumping in it. I don't think it's that warm, but maybe it is. Because the older I get, the colder I get. I put more clothes on every day. Something about our skin, I think, when we get old. I think there's a name for it, but I don't know what it is. Well, there it is. We got to get it sorted out. God, it's all like a tooth. And then daughter came by. She's a little skinny thing. She's 11 with long, long blonde hair. I just took the tape off from last night. It'll look better in a minute when I clean all that crap off of it. I showed you that. I got another one later on. Look, a little teeny one. I don't know what happened. Here's that uh, Canadian two cent piece. I'll get a better picture of that when I get it inside. I thought I had a silver dime, but I don't see it anywhere. I thought this was it, but this is a clad dime and a little bit of glass. Okay. See you soon. Now I believe it's some German coin. It's got some kind of douche republic or something on the back of it. That's the, the wrap up. Mushrooms and asparagus. I think I'm gonna like it. Chicken, yard bird. We got more asparagus in the oven. I didn't know about. No. Jack, you want some chicken? Oh my god. Yeah, right. Look at here, boo boo. You want some chicken, boo boo? He said I like chicken. I do. I'm a chicken kind of cat. Got a shoe box this afternoon with some hinkles in it. And one big loafer.
Well, the first Monday customer is a guy with five nice cut codes. They got some age to them because the blades are in bad shape. Once already. I like white handle cut codes. I don't know why, they just don't see many of them, you know. Been working on the axis, knocking out all the broke off handles and getting them ready to take over to the handle man to press the new handles in and the uh, little safety steel doodad thing, whatever you call it, that holds them in place. He had his knee operated on, he had a replacement knee Tuesday, I think. So he's kind of laid up a little bit. I'll get back to you, knife people. Got a few afternoon tickets, two Worcestoffs, a nice SOG salute, a Benchmade 551, and an automatic Boker, automatic Kalishnikov 74. That's the first time I've ever seen one of those. It's a pretty cool knife, as is the Benchmade and the SOG, though. Okay, that's the uh, living end, I think, for today. I got all the axes fixed and sharpened, and some are going back to the exchange tomorrow. Well, I think it's going to be a good knife day today. I'm at Apex now, dropping off there. One replacement axe that I've sharpened and put a handle in, and I'll show you what they have done for themselves. Stand by. Apex has bought eight small steel hatchets from Home Depot. They've been testing them for a week and they haven't broken any. <laughs> they have a lifetime warranty, the guy said. We can take them back anytime we break one. He said they do bounce back a little teeny bit when the rubber part of the handle hits the target instead of the axe head but not as bad as the fiberglass one they got from Cobalt. I mean, yeah, Cobalt. Anyway, they're dull, so I have to sharpen them. I'll get it back to you. Well, there they are. 15 little huskies. I mean, eight. One of the guys working there sharpened it with a Dremel. So the blades are in kind of bad shape. We sharpen them, get them back to them this afternoon at three o'clock when they open. And the other lady I was telling you about just brought me 16. I'll get them out of that later. Okay, here's the ones I picked up from the lady. It's in that FedEx box. Got 16. Well, 15 knives and one cleaver. All kinds. Angles, Kit Harris Teeter, Faberware. This one she just bought, Saboteur, and a nice old Saboteur here. Needs a touch of cleaning. And a Harris Teeter cleaver that has a major ding right there. Okay, we gotta go to work. You've seen the axis, so. We'll be busy for a little while. Well, the old Saboteur cleaned up nice. And the Harris Teeter thing is gone. We're getting ready to take the axes over to the uh, throwing place. This might be the only customer I get today. It's the only one I know about anyway. I spray them down with WD-40 and let them soak for a while. Then I clean them up. 